Hello, audience. We didn't kick him out yet. So. I don't get to do direct call outs while casting. Normally, it's my first time. You're like at my beck and call. It's beautiful. You can see them as they clean your putts. You can tell me how bad I am. It's great. I can hear you. There's no headset on. All right. So, Kobe and Zyrene are here. They are wonderful people, amazing human beings, and the most attractive <laughs> people on this desk right now. Desk, stage, whatever. Anyway, uh, this is the NALCS Civil War waiting room. When we're done talking, you can watch that. Kobe versus Jat. Tell me, how much do you hate Jat? <laughs> All the hate is Good. reserved for Jack. Good, wonderful. All right, so let's talk about the matchups that happened uh, this weekend, the ones happening last weekend. Uh, quick talk about the fact that uh, Liquid did some pretty hard smashing. Team Liquid, you want? <laughs> yeah, we can nope. start with them. That was the one. <laughs> Looking at those series, I would honestly think that the finals uh, is going to be much like this series, actually. More mm. long, more drawn out. Uh, because of the way that Team Liquid have shown that they also have the preference for the you know, mid-game objectives, that five-on-five five fighting tanks you know, front to back. So yep. uh, we may be in store for some more action similar to this. I'm of the uh, opposite impression where I think it's going to be pretty fast when one team gets a lead, whether it's 100 Thieves start going for baits or whether TL start just throwing themselves at the enemy when you know they need to get back into the game. Is that wishful thinking because you just did a 75-minute game? Potentially, <laughs> potentially. You know, I think those games are hype. Just like Nade shot having you know 35-ish minutes games is kind of my sweet spot. I peak at the right time in those games. Uh -huh. Peak at the right time, fair enough there. Maybe you'll get some endurance later on in this weekend. Let's talk about the fact that uh, this match was nuts, by the way. I know we talked about, hey, maybe you can keep it shorter, so have minutes, the dream kind of happened here in this one. But uh, honestly, I did not expect to be this close. I thought in my mind it was 90-10, it was going to be a 3-0. Clearly not the case here. It was actually super close. Yeah, they ended up being stylistically like incredibly similar teams where they both like to play around Baron in the late game. Uh, coming into it, I could kind of see that, and I thought it would be very close. And it was just kind of whoever's playing better on the day. But it just seemed like pound for pound, they're just going back and forth with the punches. So I didn't expect it to be that even, even though stylistically I thought they were the same. I just thought 100 Thieves had the same style, but were better at it, right? Yeah. So Clutch actually, I think, stepped up a whole bunch and were able to meet 100 Thieves. Yeah, I think there's some definitely key differences as far as individual players as well. Uh, Fibiven definitely deserves a lot of credit for his play, especially yeah. in the last game. Uh, with the Oriana, you know, huge game making plays, you know, like we think are going to happen with a five man shockwave or four man shockwaves or whatever. You're going to need to pull out like 10 of those yeah. uh, if, if the game is going to go on that long around the Baron. And with both teams making those types of plays, that's, that's when you get, uh, you know, the longer ones. Yeah, and it's so hard, too, because you have to watch for the Braum shield that'll block it. And then there's four tanks, and if you catch, like, two tanks in it, they're just going to get away, warm mogs up. you got to catch that Caitlyn. Well, Cody Sun was playing incredibly well. That's what I was going to say. So you're talking about big shockwave, but if it didn't catch Cody Sun, it did not matter. He was 64% of his team's damage in the last game. So you can kill any one person, and you've cut... 12% of their damage output like, gone. And it's like, oh boy, they're still got Cody son. It's ridiculous to think that four other people make up one third of the team's damage. Yep. So he was just bringing so much. So you, Isn't you that ridiculous, him. though? It, it is. Yes. Everyone's in dedicated roles. You I mean, it's people. full AP Galio, Death Cap, and everything. At a certain point, it's like, all right, Cody son's well, hard. I'm, I'm just thinking, because we talk about, like, oh, it's, you know, protect the Kog'Maw composition. This is the sole damage source. Mm. I don't think it's ever been, like, that much of a sole damage source for them, because... Cody Sun, 60, almost 66%. They're almost two-thirds of the team's damage. That is actually ridiculous. I don't think I've seen that before. I've seen things close yeah. to it, but I don't think I've seen that overwhelming of a number. Right. I'm curious what the record actually is for damage share in a game more than five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like sometimes Zareth's will get like, you know, right, 50%. Sure. Right? I know that the, is always nuts. the low end is 0%, because yep. they have been professional <laughs> games with 0%. <laughs> All right, well, the opposite of that one, of course. So uh, let's talk about the, the actual finals going to be happening. I know we talked about it very briefly at the beginning of the show, but... Uh, 100 Thieves off a very tough five-game series against Clutch. The number one seed coming into playoffs. They have made that run so far. Liquid, haha, -ha, fourth seed coming in, but they've won all the <laughs> matches as well. And, and a convincing one over Echo Fox. I'm kind of curious, at your first glance is, who do you even consider the favorite? The easier run from Liquid or the uh, fairly trying run from 100 Thieves? TL, in my mind. Yeah, I, I would side with TL. I wouldn't be so quick uh, to jump to that one, though, because there were a lot of errors that we saw in the Team Liquid games, even though it was you know, a quicker series and they, they were able to win the games, right. there were still a lot of, especially early game stuff, where I can see improvements from you know, either one uh, of these squads in that area specifically. But I'm more hyped about, you know, we're gonna get to see oh, so many of the old Immortals players playing against each other. Yeah. Um, Caitlyn, as a pick, has risen in importance in both of the series. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's gonna be Double Lift versus Cody Sun, uh, kind of the two, Biggest North American 80 carries now. Which is funny, yeah. Sorry. Sneaky knocked out. Sneaky knocked out by Double <laughs> himself. But it's great. There are so many strong. You talk about players. Cody Sun against Ixsmithy. 
and Poe Belter yeah. and Ole. Double lift against Afro Moo is another really good one. Double lift going for his third championship on a third different team. Like, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, double lift goes versus Cody Sun, which was the last finals we had as well back when they were on Immortals. But also, I think I remember hearing uh, towards the beginning of the split that Cody Sun was supposed to be on that roster, right? He was supposed to be in double lift's position. And then when double lift ended up finding out that he got kicked from TSM, he was picked up by TL. So Cody Sun definitely wants to win against his former teammates and be like, hey, you guys made the wrong choice of Team Liquid not picking me up. And he's looked super sharp. I mean, like Cody's growth as a player, I think, is probably bigger than almost any player other than Faker I can think of. Like Faker came out of solo queue <laughs> and won. <laughs> I mean, I know, yes, I'm comparing Cody Sun to Faker. Bear with me, internet audience. But <laughs> no, we're an you guys are on my side. Overreact. I mean, it. Faker went from like, hey, solo queue all star to like winning worlds really quickly. But Cody Sun went from like a joke in spring to really good in summer to like now, like his second chance at a final now. Like he's going to represent NA at Rift Rivals. Like he's had a really quick rise. And, and like that's cool to see. He's jumped up really nicely. As I think through other players, I know, NA, I'm like, I'm like never mind, let's just cut it, that one out. It's okay. You're saying Cody Sun is killing it. Good Cody job. Sun is killing it. <laughs> and, and also being considered best in the role, right? Like, yeah. Or at least up there, super awesome uh, on top of that one. So uh, also a new banner, by the way. Kind of want to point that one out. It's course, going to be you know, some of those over there. But it's a bunch of TSM banners, C9 banners, CLG banners. Liquid, I guess you guys are both considering as a favorite to be the fourth NALCS champion, which is just awesome. It means that going to MSI. And I want to talk about that then. Whether it's Hundred Thieves or Liquid, when they're going to go up against all those insane teams from China and Korea, how's that going to go? Could go quote your uh, Twitter with a uh, yeah. prediction, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Which, well, like, King today's, Zone yeah today's is <laughs> NA's going to win World, so That's will true. they win MSI? Uh, yeah, I mean, they definitely have really tough competition if people have been watching LCK, uh, King Zone over there. Yeah. But uh, as far as NA's chances, you know, just... The, the, the normal goal of getting out of groups, I, I think, will be a Done. good. Done. We, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we made yeah. it past play-ins, so we're, <laughs> we're in groups now. We're at least in now. groups. <laughs> None of our teams can fail in play-ins. To be fair, they've never yet so far. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Final topic, then, as we're talking about MSI and hoping NA can hold up. Uh, Rift Rivals. The third-place match is going to determine who goes to Rift Rivals in the middle of the summer split to battle against Europe which is going to be, I think that's going to be either Vitality or Splice joining G2 and Fnatic. So I'm curious who you want to go, who you think will go, and how it's going to work. So who I want to go, I don't care either way, because it's either... Because it's free no matter what? No, it, oh, it, see, the crowd won't respond to that. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, but still, I think it's, <laughs> it's Huni versus EU, or it's Featherthin versus EU. That's true. Right? And so either way, I'm happy because I think that those are two kind of guys who have won the EU LCS before, brought them to a top four finish at Worlds, and then they get to go, okay, I made the right choice by leaving. I think it's a really, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a really interesting <laughs> match in uh, because of the two different uh, you know, exits that both of them had from the playoffs, right? Um, or at least from the chance at taking first place. Mm -hmm. Echo Fox there, you're talking about their game versus Team Liquid. It looked like you know, they couldn't really get a handle on cracking just the, the front to back you know, tank line uh, strategy that Team Liquid was going with. And Clutch Gaming were using that on display for most of the games here, pretty much yeah. all five games. Uh, and it was a very hard fought best of five that we just witnessed here. Yeah. So I think that Clutch Gaming uh, actually might be the, uh, the representative there, yeah. yeah. It's really hard to tell because that series is pretty much going to tell, like, what are the trajectories of these two teams and are they consistent? Because Clutch Gaming have been looking up and up, yep. whereas how far has the slide been for Echo Fox? Because towards the yep. second half of the split, they did not look anywhere close to their first half. It was like and three then, and seven. You had another one and three on top of that one afterwards. And then they had to play to even have that, you know, playoff yep. buy at first ended up going, and then they had to play and fell out of first. And now that slide has been really, really big, whereas Clutch Gaming is the exact opposite. They are just gaining momentum. And even though they lost the series today, you lose it by, like, one team fight, one ability. Sure. And they would have been going to the finals. Yep. Well, that's going to do it for us on NALCS tonight. It's going to be fun watching out for the finals and third-place matches coming Saturday and Sunday following Europe on those days. Now it's time for the waiting room to be over. After the break, we've got the NALCS Civil War, where Kobe hopes to blast Jet. Good luck. USA! <laughs> I stand with Kobe. <laughs> For playoffs, I think we practiced really hard and we can contend with the other top teams. We just want to come in as 100 teams.
do our best to uh, pull off the heist. Who will be trying for that first place match against Liquid in Miami? We'll find out as we get onto the rift for game one. He gets hit up, and he's gonna get taken down. First blood to Meteos. And Solo do good on the other side. Three max shock wave coming in from Ryu. And Clutch Gaming needs to reconsider the entire fight. Right, 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 got it, got it, got it. I'm Sabas, don't go scary. Back shot, Cody, back shot. Nice shot. Yep, Thunder. Let's go, Liquid. Uh, oh, wrong team. Let's go, okay. hold it. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. It is followed up with a lot more damage on the back side from 100 Thieves. Look heavy, look heavy, look heavy. Look heavy. Look heavy. Look heavy. Their carries. Their carries can't do anything. Their carries can't do anything. Fabavin, very low, shuffles himself out, but there's the Realm Warp. They're in the flame. They're in the fire. And Clutch Gaming is starting to take a lot of damage. Apollo, though, eyes on him as he keeps hitting the right targets. I'm Apollo. My support is Hakuo. Aku, yes. Oh, oh, very nice flash for Lyra to get right to Cody's son. Follow up damage. What a beautiful Run. play. Or is that? Or is that? Right, right, right. I'm looking at Aru. I'm looking at Aru. Careful, careful. Kill the flash. Kill the flash. Go low, go low. This is warp for us. We got one. Nice. Keep on pushing. Keep, follow. Keep on pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be on to Medios. Oh, Cody's son has to flash. What a turnaround from Clutch Gaming. Febivin is going for the bit right now. Again. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Go, 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 go. Or no flash, or no flash, or no flash, stand, stand, stand. Nice. The turnaround damage is huge from 100 Thieves as they start to wipe down Clutch Gaming. Cody, some flashes. There you go, everyone. will scatter. Afrim, who's now forced to flash, they are using everything. Febbin is able to take down Meteos. No Floblins there. Ooh. The flash forward. Clutch just refuses to die. Everyone predicting them to lose in the quarters, predicting them to lose in the semis. They are one game away from going to the finals. Here we go. Apollo took a few Cody hits there. Gonna get hit. Draw Cody's son in undertow. Is it a turnaround? Solo, Solo, do what he can. Apollo flashes forward. Feminine, oh, it is God. up to the Oriana. Minus, minus, minus. Nice. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hey. I got there. Oh, back, 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 back. Solo's taking a lot of damage. Solo goes down immediately. Lyra pushing himself to the limit as he gets in the face of Cody's son. He has no mana, but he only needs the autos. 100 things. Organization to first place. Oh, yeah. Now, right, another heist and attempt to take down Team Liquid in Miami. 